Hi, I'm Jeremy Kuhn from Topwell. Now let me introduce you our ProTIG 250DI. It is a lightweight and compact design DC TIG welding machine, including a 250A power source as same as our MOSTIG 250AC. Let's take a look at the control panel. It has two processes. First one is MMA. On stick welding, it has some special designs. The so hot start and arc force. Hot start function reliably ignites the electrodes and melts perfectly to ensure the best quality even at the start of the scene. This solution makes lack of fusion and cold weld a thing of the past and significantly reduces weld reinforcement. Adjust the hot start current here and the time here. During the welding process, arc force prevents electric sticking in the weld pool with increases in current. This makes it easier to weld large job melting electric types at low current chances with a short arc in particular. The second process is DC TIG. DC TIG is used for mild steel, stainless steel, copper, titanium and nickel alloy. On DC TIG welding, you can choose remote here to control the welding amps via a foot pedal. Otherwise, press Q here. This is a touch trigger hold. 2T trigger hold and 40 trigger hold. 40 trigger hold is used when you want to go to a present amperage. It holds that amperage until you press the trigger again. Choose spot arc. You can adjust the gap time between the weld time via here. This is non-pause and pause. Here is a welding parameter setup. Gas pre-flow time controls the amount of time you want your shielding gas to operate before the arc start. The initial amp allows you to choose the initial amperage at the start of the weld. This second is the initial slope time. It's the time it takes to get up to your weld amperage. Peak amperage is amperage to ensure a good fusion. Peak time is a percentage of time you want the cycle to spend at the peak amperage. 40 to 50 percent is a good place to start. PPS stands for pulse per second. A high PPS number gives you a smoother ripple effect. Normal bead and fast travel speed is at a low PPS number. Base amperage is the amperage selection between peak and background pulse. This is the cooling effect in the pulse parameter. 30% is a good starting point. The same here is the final slope time. It's a decreasing ramp time coming off your weld amperage. Final amperage is the amperage that you end with. Gas pulse flow time is the time you want your shielding gas to run after the arc stop to cause tungsten and shield weld puddle. This is memory setting. It allows you to save 10 personalized parameters. Select a channel, then press here to save the parameters, or press here to open the parameters.